So I was, I was thinking about the... Welcome back, everybody. Hey. Uh, I was thinking about the, the art and the title screen. Yeah. Um, and I, I realized that the particle effects, I think, make it look... Mm, Better than it is? Incredibly more beautiful than it might have seemed without any kind of movement happening at all. Okay. Um, it gives it sort of a sense of depth, actually. And like, Feel free to elaborate on that at your leisure. So, so basically, like, the title screen is just a bunch of layered images, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's very similar to the rest of the art, right? Sure. Um, but I think having the particle effects of the snow falling gives it sort of like... It makes it feel alive rather than just like a still image. So it okay. feels like, you know, an actual living, breathing environment. Sure. Um, and that's the kind of depth that I mean. Ah, I gotcha. Makes it a lot, a lot prettier. I don't know. That's kind of what I like about the art and just the entire game at large is just the whole. It, it, even the dredge are look at just the detail on them. They feel organic and at the same time created. You know the crazy thing too about their art is they're not like they're detailed, but they're not like you know overly detailed. Ex exactly. They use a lot of just flat colors and hard yeah. lines, and. You know, I, I, I've worked with a lot of artists that scoff at hard lines, like outlines and stuff. And it's like, I understand why a lot of artists don't think that hard outlines are good. Um, but at the same time, like, I think that... Not everything has to be Samurai Jack to be beautiful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, color theory is important, but at the end of the day, like, shape in, in line is still just as powerful as color and shape. Sure. Yeah, I agree. I Basically, the point is, I think the art is beautiful, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've commented on that a lot, though. Um, and I, I wish we could... I wish that my, my commentary was a little more... Um, eh, sub substantive? Sub substantive? Sub substantive? Full of substance? Yes. <laughs> yes. I wish it was less fluffy and meaningless. No, nah, I but think... it's not. I think you have plenty of... It's With this discussion. game, though, it's just I'm I'm always laid low by the art. I'm I'm just like I I I, I love it. When uh, when Nathan first described this game to me, he said it was like, uh, um, what did he say? If Disney did, um, if Disney did Beowulf, and I was like, yeah, okay, I can see that, see that a little bit. <laughs> that's a pretty compelling way to describe that it. That might not have been how he described it, but that's how I just thought of it just now. It's kind of what it is. It's got that whole Norsky thing going on there. It's, uh, yes, uh, that whole Norsky thing. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the kind of day I'm having. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna pound the shit out of this guy. So uh, let's let's think about that question of the day thing because that's been that's been sticking us on the end of the. If you've been following along the last couple episodes. We haven't had a very good question of the day. <laughs> well, I think I think the one last episode was was decent. Sure. But, um, we're we're not going to officially ask it though until the end of the episode because mm. that's just the format. But we can talk about what we would want it to be. Actually. Sure. Um, obviously, the questions are not intended to be like, "What game do you want to see us play next?" Because like we don't really ask that. That's we kind of decide. Well, what yeah. We're play. Well, that's also kind of what the voting system is for at the end. Um, which, if you haven't really seen, at the end of the episode, we've got a little like voting system, so you can vote on what game we're going to play next. Voting's not compulsory, which is why nobody does it. Actually, we get a decent <laughs> amount of people that vote. It's, really? It's it's actually really nice. I think one of the best things is. Um, we we often include well we always include a like play more of what we're already playing yeah so like at the end of this it's gonna be say it, it's gonna say like play more of the pragmatic saga and while we're already planning on playing this game through to the end um, you know sometimes things it, you know if like views don't really happen we might have to say like maybe we shouldn't play it to the end um, but seeing those clicks those votes at the end that say like no keep playing this like people are enjoying it um, it's really supportive like it that is single-handedly um, been what has inspired us to finish some of the games that we played because it's like yeah so long as the people that are actually watching it really are enjoying it it's, yeah. that's what makes it worth it for a lot of us yeah wouldn't do it if it weren't for the watchers well I mean like we also do it because we like to do it right but at the same time, if people aren't enjoying watching, it, I don't know. You're doing pretty good, though, despite the 
the strategic disadvantage. Yeah, I, uh, I've i been making a few tactical choices that I agree and disagree with. I just threw Faisal to the wolves, like, really. Like, a, like always. Yeah, like always. Um, I'm, uh, I'm sort of at a tough place here, though, because I've got a couple of full health dredge that I haven't really been able to do anything about. And, yep, he's just going to walk in there and deal with me. Uh, so I gotta start yeah. knocking him down a couple of pegs, which is what Faisal and Moger and all those guys are good for. I assume the other guy is a, an armor-focused guy, the other uh, big guy. Uh, yes, the other big guy is okay. just a, he's just a big armored sack of hit points. That's good. Yeah. And I'm just gonna wound a couple of these guys and cripple them. They will still knock down armor, but as long as I take out the big guys, they won't be threatening individually on their own, and... Wow. Yeah, I'll just do that then. <laughs> uh, always so satisfying. I love hacking to death, man. So here, here's a question for you. So, sure. um, oftentimes while playing this game, I find it rather difficult to anticipate how the you know how like you had the one guy and the damage kind of exploded out to the other yeah. adjacent dredge. Um, maybe it's simpler than I think that that mechanic works. Mm -hmm. But do you think that they could present that in the interface a little bit better to show you how it's going to spread? I honestly, and this is... Or, or should they? This is going to be a terrible confession, but I think a lot of the battles in this game, a lot of what goes into the battle system is unnecessary overcomplication. Uh, over hmm. um, I rarely, if ever, use the Mender character uh, simply because I either don't understand how he works or I just don't have the mental horsepower to care about it enough like, are, you, are you talking specifically about the like the lightning zap? bolt? Well, yeah. yeah, I'm just I'm using that as a, as a greater example of mm. of what I view as overcomplications in the system as a whole. Um, so, like that, for instance, um, like a lot of the time, you'll notice I have not once used a character's ability apart from attacking. It goes back to what I was saying earlier. I think damage is just too good. Damage, damage really is. There are a few human characters who have really, really solid abilities, and there's one. Maybe two, if you argue Gunolf, two uh, uh, Varl characters who have abilities that are worth using. But for the most part, if you're not doing damage to an enemy, that enemy is just going to steamroll you because you're always outnumbered. You always got to knock them down, and by the time it becomes convenient to use your abilities, fight's mm -hmm. over. I, I do think that most of the abilities, most of the useful ones anyway, generally involve battlefield control. Um, so basically, like, you can use that to kind of place the dredge where you want so you yes. can deal the most amount of damage or prevent your other weaker characters from getting the damage. Yeah, but like, like you were asking, um, the, do I ever find a way to use that, like, diagonal adjacent dredge take damage when you deal this much damage? Uh, no, I don't. I never use it intentionally. It's just a nice side benefit when it does happen. And that's, that's kind of how I feel like I've generally played the game, too. Like, I know that there's... We, you could probably figure it out if you just, like, sit and figure it out, right? But, yeah. Oh, wow, all the way to Grafheim. Yep. We're, uh, we're getting there. Yeah. Getting through this one. But I agree. I think that what they really needed to do was show you how your actions would be affecting the other... Like, how it's going to yeah. explode out. And even with the, like, the Mender's lightning bolt, we just need to see, like, where is it going to land? Yeah. I think the point was that they wanted to, us to not know, so it's like a... Do you want to use it? Is it going to work? Is but, it not going to work? But because of that, it's like, no, now I'm never going to use it. I'm just going to damage things instead. Yeah, I'm going to do the ch choice that's going to not kill me. Uh, the Mender from Ridgehorn woke up, says his name is Ivan. Sounds like a Mender name. How is he? Not well. Where are we? A day or two from Grafheim, we found you at the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? Grafheim, no, 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 that's the wrong way. Juno, where is she? Where was the woman who was with me? She didn't make it, my friend. We only brought the living with us. No, we have to go back. I don't think so. We barely made it out two weeks ago. Two weeks you've been unconscious? Dredge, we have to go back. Motherfucker, it has been two weeks. Girl was dead when we got there. Sorry, bud. Yes, you couldn't save her. Yep, yep, uh-huh. Okay, listen, I don't have time to listen to you, bitch. I have to get home to Grafheim, which is an awesome, rad Varl city that's full of all the Varl bitches and, like, the place where I'm going to spend all the money that I made just now, and I'm going to get to see all my friends again, and then we're going to get to... Uh-oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna, wait, oh, what's... Oh, no. Oh, what? but, but. Whoops. <laughs> I actually really, really loved this moment the first time I encountered it. Yeah, first time. Because was... the, the whole time you're like, 
obviously this is going to be like the turning point of the game mm-hmm. where everything changes and becomes even And I'm going to learn stuff in Grafheim and oh my god, the city's on fire. <laughs> it's that I think it's one of these moments too that like has really inspired us in in some of our like work outside of here that's that's like giving us that sense of true hopelessness yep. like the desire for for that break, that chance to relax, yes. just a little bit, and never giving it to never, you. Never ever giving it. The only time you get it are when things like that happen. Where, well, I guess those guys will get a break while they deal with their capital <laughs> burning to the ground. <laughs> uh, God, and here we are back in this city, this terrible city, uh, with this uh, goddamn guy, this fucking twitchy this motherfucker. Twitch. Where is he? Where is he? Twitch, <laughs> twitch, twitch. <laughs> What did you tell me? What did you tell me, Eckle? Well, let's let's save yeah. this for the next episode. Let's get there next time. I'm going to kill this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we definitely will. Straight up kill him. So, question of the day. Uh, I actually want to hear from you guys to see what you think about the, the combat system and the interface portrayal of, like, the exploding mechanic. For yeah. The dredge. Um, do you think that they could have shown more? Should they have shown more? Or do you think that showing, you know, how it's going to explode out would actually hurt the, the combat. There's already a lot of detail just in the characters. It's possible they wanted to sacrifice detail on the battle map for detail within the characters because mm-hmm. it is largely a narrative-driven game with convenient tactical combat breaking up a story. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why they might have set it up that way, so let us know what you think. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. See you See next time. You next time. <laughs> yeah. I got it now. <laughs>